So what we're going to get into is data bus communication networks, and we're going to do a little bit on the earlier cars, but we're also going to do a lot on CAN, and on, that means it's emission related if it's a check engine light. They aren't going to turn on the check engine light for a door module not working correctly. And what I like to do, and this is just my opinion, but you know, you can think about it and still do what you want, is I always grab a generic OBD2 scan tool first. And the reason I do is because I know the data standardized. Doesn't matter if it's a Beamer, a Nissan, a Honda, a Yugo. Well, I don't think there is a Yugo, but a Ford, GM, or Chrysler. It's all going to be standardized data. I know I'm going to have my fuel trims. I know I'm going to have my O2 readings or my EQ, EQ ratios, which is Lambda. And a little note you might want to make, if you're into OBD2, the first thing you have to know is, is the PCM control of fuel? The next one that you'll see on a car lot down here is what we call the star topology. And you know these because you usually, if you remember GM, you had the body control module. And maybe around that, you had all these little sub-modules like door modules, seat modules, chime modules, things that weren't critical. But things that were important, here, terminate with a number here, then you can move down the track to that number and pick that circuit back up. So they'll go over pages. Um, they're just, they're, uh, they'll be standardized. They'll have the, what is it, the power along here, the grounds along here. Uh, they'll have the direct battery power on one line, the ignition switch power on another. So they're real easy to use, and we'll be using one of these a little bit later in the case studies. Next, we will use the scan tool and perform a module status check, which will check for control module communications on the network. On this vehicle application, Ford uses two networks, the faster SCP standard protocol using the J1850 PWM protocol on pins 2 and 10. That's pulse with modulation. 9142 on pin 7. Once we enter module status check, it'll ask us which vehicle application to use. In this case, we'll go ahead and select F2 for Ford. Once again, when Ford shows up, we can see that we have SCP and the ISO. This vehicle does not use a CAN system. Remember that we want to check all modules, so we'll start with F1. Okay, so and as we go through, you'll 51 modules are possible on a Ford on SCP, but this car does not, Mustang GT does not have 51 on it. Just saying that's the amount it, that could... That's the J1850's on it? Mm-hmm, that's the J1850 protocol. Okay, looking at our module status, we can see that we identify two pins, the PCM, powertrain control module, and the HEC, hybrid electronic control cluster, or the ICM, instrument cluster control module. No codes. All right, have yes next to there. Notice here on the SCP check that we did not show any ABS module. Now we will go back and check the ISO network. We'll now select F2 for ISO. Check them all if they're there. 